guys doing the final installation of the seat back assemblies? Yeah. They've each got a bench. There's three guys actually working there. Oh, okay. And you can see that the far bench is oh, right. not really the ideal fight. He's having to stand on the box there. Yeah. There's no special tooling required for the for the seat installation, seat mod. It's, um, it's all personal tooling. When the seats come off the aeroplane, they get disassembled from these benches okay. and all the parts come off and get bagged into uh, separate bags per seat assembly. We get uh, the, the cleaners come in a four voice with a four voice bucket and they take them away sort of half a dozen at a time. They steam clean them. The whole ship set ends up in the front of hangar three which oh, is right. where they get steam cleaned. They do that over there. They're normally dry by the time they get back to us. So when they come back here they're dry and they're ready for assembly. Um, so we go back to the benches again where we, uh, we start the build. A purpose-built workshop would be, would be ideal. Yeah. Um, my single biggest issue with this area here is the flooring. Uh, we're currently using this uh, temporary plywood. It's really messy, it's a trip hazard. Another issue is the lack of, of proper bench and working space. A purpose-built workshop would be ideal. It's certainly not, not very professional. No. <laughs> we get the job done and the end product is, is as yeah. good as they'll ever get anywhere in the world. But the, uh, the conditions aren't... Um, no. In terms of like your product flow, like you've got disassembled seats here and, yeah. and more uh, seats disassembled well, here. Yeah, well what happens is the seats come off the airplane, they get disassembled and they get, um, they get steam cleaned. That all happens fairly quickly and that happens as a ship set. Then they come to the rebuild phase where we start rebuilding them and it takes a lot longer to rebuild them so they end up going back on the airplane in drips and drabs. Uh, the seats you see in front of you here with the covers on, they're completed, just getting some final touches, they'll be taken up to the aircraft within the next day or so. It says without the backs on here, mm. that's still to, be, still to be built up. And it's taken approximately two hours per assembly to build up, so uh, it's not a fast process. One man can get yeah. three done in a day. processes in here, you're lifting seats, you're moving seats, it's time, it's health and safety risks, you want to minimise that. Because he's stripping a seat down here, when he strips the parts off, he has to label them. Just putting it in the bag, putting your parts in, putting a label on, there's time. A heap of time involved in that. Why not do it here, stalling the mugs? Once again, getting back to your transportation again. No value added to minimise transportation. What you want to buy yourself here is you want to condense this down as much as you can. You want to buy yourself some time at the end of the check. Basically, the more time you get at the end of the check to go through the cabinet and look at the seats to debate, the better the appearance of the product. And that's something that the customer is taking for granted. The appearance is, has, to, it has to be 100. Well, we've done every exercise just to break it down and just form a step so we can understand it a bit better. The issues that they came up with in the So we broke down some issues that go with each one, like distance to the cleaning area. It's just transporting back from here because the other Sometimes you just do a job the way you are because that's the way you've always done, done it. You've never actually sat down and thought it out in a constructive sort of way. You know? The conclusion, I think we feel in terms of the metrics we've satisfied the two customer objectives. I think we've learnt a lot in terms of you know, how to address this sort of thing. And, and every time you do one of these you can actually do it faster.
I, I personally learnt a lot. You guys use some very complex tools, which I think are valuable in, in, in getting things going. And personally, I learnt a lot. I certainly hope that this kind of event happens more often and other people get the benefit out of it than we have. I've seen a huge amount of good things come out of this. A, um, one of the problems with being an aircraft engineer is that you're regimented in your thought pattern, everything's done by the book, and you just accept the way that the book does it, and unfortunately, yeah. that's, even though that's great in aviation, it doesn't always open your mind up to think about doing things in different ways, and um, probably with the whole of the hangar, the whole area here, you know, we have done things the same way forever, because that's the, the way the book says, that's the way the industry dictates it, and uh, it's been good just to sit down and think about maybe what we're doing we can better and we can better ourselves and uh, yep, just look at things from some probably different angle. Don't realise how sort of uh, you just go along what's what's available and you accept it. Suddenly when you come up to here you find out all these alternative ways of doing things that are in the end will be more efficient and uh, uh, when you look at the program that you guys have, uh, you can see how it can in the areas that you're, um, you know, what you guys are proposing and that, that will work. Thing. The big thing was unproductive time, where yeah. you actually mapped out non-value sort of time, that basically time that was not going to gain you any, any value at all. And there's actually quite a bit of that going on. Yeah. And unfortunately that relates back to, again, you can't, you haven't taken a good look at how you do the job, there's a huge amount of unproductive time and that's just not making any money. Moving the bench to the job is a yeah. lot easier than yeah. moving the job to the bench. You know, and you've traditionally just gone moving the job to the bench and, and, and now you look at it, you just see how inefficient it was, you know. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. something simple like that. And uh, when you look at it, you think, well, why didn't we think of it before? You know, but you just mm. You've been doing for years.